Yo, what's good? It's Drop from LetItDropMusic.com, LetItDropBeats.com. I got another one for you today. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, hopefully, you've been checking out the other videos. If not, definitely go back and uh, touch base on what I've been talking about here. But on this one, uh, I wanted uh, to talk about, you know what I'm saying, a rapper's skill set and what it takes to, to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just it's more than writing, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people get caught up with the lyrics and get caught up with writing lyrics because um, it's fun and, and it's something that people can get good at and um, when you're good lyrically you know what I'm saying that's one of the biggest things you can be for a rapper honestly but if you're not putting in work to be a diverse lyricist um, then you might you know what I mean you might be holding yourself back so uh, I just kind of wanted to go over some of the things that you could uh, you could be looking at some of the major points you know what I'm saying that a, a rapper should be constantly growing at um, you know, one of those points uh, is you need to master all different types of styles and flows. You know what I'm saying? Um, your lyrics and flow um, is really big. And, and um, some of the things that you can be researching, be working on consistently um, are metaphors, similes, uh, double entendres, punchlines, uh, double time your verses. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do kind of triplet uh, patterns. Um, you know what I'm saying? All these things I'll get into more detail on in other videos, but you know what I'm saying? If you don't know what these things are, these are all little tools that you could be using in your raps. You need to go research these things. You need to go uh, take a look at, at other rappers who are using these and how, how they're using them in their flows. You know what I'm saying? So you can put those pieces into your puzzles and make them even better and bigger than they were before. Um, another uh, aspect of rapping um, that only certain rappers seem to do when I feel like when a rapper really gets it, they really do it and they, they go in on it is freestyling. Um, it, it's tough to get good at, you know what I'm saying? The only way you can really get good at freestyling is to really do it. Um, find people around you who are doing it because it, doing it by yourself may not be as fun as, as when you actually have some people to cipher with. I mean, that's what hip hop's all about is is that connection of people. You know what I'm saying? Who who are around this artistic expression, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Freestyling, it kind of started with freestyling, hip hop, and the whole MCing on stage with the DJ over the breaks. You know what I'm saying? They they were kind of just making stuff up as they go along, just to rock the party out at first, and then they started finding what works best and memorizing that. You know what I'm saying? So. Freestyling will take you to the next level. I mean, it won't make a bad rapper good, but freestyling will make a good rapper great. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's also a skill that isn't isn't as popular as it should be or as it once was. You know what I'm saying? People rely on writing. I've met rappers before that would just refuse to freestyle, and uh, and I understand. Sometimes it can be embarrassing because it's like the only way to freestyle and get better is to mess up. Plain and simple, like you, you go and you freestyle, and if you mess up, you just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And uh, sometimes that can be difficult because you're just constantly in the face of failure until you actually get some momentum with it. Um, but then I've seen rappers who get a little bit of momentum with it, and that's it. They go off, you know what I mean, and and they just love freestyling. So that could be you. You could be freestyling if you're not. Uh, another aspect I wanted to go over. I think it's a major skill set that's different from your flow and lyrics is your choruses. Um, I think writing choruses is a lot different than writing a regular verse. You know what I'm saying? You got to worry about your cadence of what you're saying. You got to worry about the melody. Uh, a lot of you know, need a lot of more melody in choruses now uh, than there was back in the day. And um, you got to find out what works for you. If you, you got to explore all these different things, singing uh, a little bit can go a long way. You don't have to be, you know what I'm saying, an actual singer, but you see a lot of rappers nowadays, they kind of have this uh, sing-song approach to choruses. I mean, uh, it's it's a, a good skill to have, or at least try to learn, you know what I mean? Even if if you're like, nah, no way, singing's not for me, I totally get that, but um, if you're going to rap and you're going to be on the microphone, um, you might as well touch bass at least and, and know the basics of it, because um, you never know. You never know what inspiration might strike that you might find a beat that you like the melody over, you know what I'm saying, rather than just going straight hardcore uh, choruses. Um, a lot of people are using melodies, and they don't even know that they, it's really they're singing, you know what I'm saying? It's, sometimes it can be a fine line between uh, your singing and your rapping, and um, you can take advantage of that on the choruses. Um, on to the next big aspect, uh, what you're talking about, you know what I'm saying? The, the concepts are big. You need to work on what kind of concepts uh, you, you come up with um, you need to talk about things that matter things that matter to you things that you know uh, matter to other people look for current topics 
Um, another big way to, to come up with different concepts is just, just storytelling. I mean, there's nothing wrong with with being a, a person. You know, what I mean, you don't always have to be that that raw, real person. You can tell a story once in a while. I think people are afraid that they're going to be taken as fake um, or, or not authentic with their music if they're telling a story. But I mean, you could, if you could weave a good story, then you might as well take advantage of that skill. You don't have to live a life as long as people know that it's a story rap. They're not going to be like, oh, he's trying to fake. It, you know what I'm saying? People are hip. They, they know when someone's faking it or not. And if you let them know, or if you write the song in a way that they know it's a story, then they're going to be vibing with that. They're going to be like, okay, this is a story. He's setting me up. He's making it, making it out like a movie. You know what I'm saying? So that's what you got to do. You, you really got to um, explore all these different areas of concepts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your life experiences. Uh, your the current event is big. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you got to be reading. You got to be see what's popping in the world. Um, if you're gonna put music out that's gonna relate to people, you got to understand what they're going through. So check out all kinds of news sources. Read books. You know what I'm saying? That's big on on getting your concepts down. Um, it's n it's not about just coming up with stuff on the fly. Like when you get an ill concept, write it down that that you're gonna make a song about. You know what I'm saying? Start thinking before you just start writing on a beat. You know what I'm saying? Think of that concept and think of what what you want it to sound like or feel like. Um, that, you know I mean, it goes both hand in hand. Um, and then uh, the another next big aspect is of course the brand. You know what I'm saying? I, I talked about this in some other videos. Definitely want to have some more videos on branding yourself. Um, but that's that's one of the biggest things i mean some people wonder why oh this person is uh is making it and their lyrics aren't good or this person is making it and you know what i'm saying he's not really talking about much uh that that has substance but when your brand's there your brand's there and that can show you how powerful it is we all know a rapper that's gotten on that we didn't like and it's that brand it's because yeah you may not like them but that branding is so focused and and so um like towards the same person that you know what I'm saying they're creating that niche and that's what you gotta do with your music you gotta look for your niche like it's not all about mass appeal once you find that niche then then you can widen it from there you know what I'm saying you get that brand and find out what you really wanna stand for and how you really wanna make people feel and then you you delve deep until it's as detailed as you can get it and then you kind of expand it from there and keep adding more and more onto it. So it's got to be a growing process. You, you don't just come up with a brand all of a sudden. You, you grow into a brand and your brand keeps evolving. That's, that's what keeps you uh, current and, and keeps you coming up with new ideas and fresh ideas. And then once your brand is solid, and, you know what I'm saying, and people know what it is, then they know, you know what I'm saying, what you're all about. So, that, so when they rock your brand... When they're listening to your music, people understand what they're about. And that's that's what music does for people. You know what I'm saying? It, it gives them a space to relate. So if you know someone who listens to a certain artist, you can kind of tell if they're a certain kind of person. Um, and the more, uh, the more detailed the brand is, you know what I'm saying? The more specific the person uh, you're affecting, then uh, the more specific the fan's going to be. You know what I'm saying? So... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, is once your once your niche is found, um, then that's all that matters. You don't need the mass appeal anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, on to the next one. Um, live performances is a big skill to get a hold of. Like a lot of rappers are getting lazy. They 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 get their studio game up and they think that's the same thing as being on stage with a mic, and it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like you really got to put in practice uh, as far as being uh, live on the mic. Uh, practice out loud I can't stress that enough you, you gotta rehearse your verses out loud um, and record your live performances um, if you need someone to dub you get someone to dub you um, don't just always rely on your backing tracks you know what I'm saying if you're doing something different on the beat just imagine if you took that different thing that you're not comfortable doing like saying you're singing on a chorus that you're not really a singer just imagine if you could do that live like people will, would bug out people would be like damn he really took it to the next level because not only is he rapping but he's no longer playing his, his, his choruses that he's singing on um, so take that to the next level. The live performance is another big aspect to, to look into. And then, of course, the studio performances, which more and more rappers are getting comfortable with now. Um, but don't just expect that you can go on the mic and that it's going to be the same thing as rapping out loud. You know what I'm saying? Once you got those headphones on uh, and you're listening to the beat through the headphones and you're on the mic, you, you pick up on your voice a lot, a lot differently. You know what I'm saying? You almost uh, pick up, up on the details a lot more as far as like how they... Uh, 
how everything's getting laid down, really. So the only way to really practice a studio performance is really to get on the mic with, with the beat and the headphones and, and go in. So, I mean, you don't have to pay any big studios to really get that skill, but if you can get some headphones plugged into your sound card and you can get a microphone plugged into your sound card and you can get a, you know, a nice program, um, like maybe Reaper out there, I'm pretty sure that it's free, the free download. You can get that and um, you can you can go off of that and just start practicing your studio performances, practicing your dubs, uh, practicing your your in and out dubs, practicing your ad libs. Um, so th these are all things that you can start doing because it, it, when you're not about the total package, you get caught up in one thing, then that's when when you hold yourself back. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was in, in all like. Uh, like in different aspects of being great you know what i'm saying a lot of times like you only have one great person at a time you know what i mean and then it'll be years until the next great person comes along um like we had uh michael jordan with basketball whatever you know what i'm saying michael jackson in the pop scene so these are all greats that came around and they kind of just smashed the boundaries um in hip-hop we had two greats at the same time you know what i'm saying we had biggie and tupac um, they, they were two of the greatest And they were at the same exact time It's not like they were even one after the other right away It was like the same exact time That they were coming out and getting popular And the reason why this happened Is because they, they had their brands different from each other And they were able to brand themselves differently from each other And they were able to use different uh, All these different aspects and styles They were different for, for a little bit of, of uh, I mean, they were different on both of them They had different concepts they had different uh, ways that they, they had flows. So that's what it's about. It's about being different. So when you go out and you explore all these extra skills, all these main skills that you should have as a rapper, um, then, then that's when you start to explore who you really want to be. And then once you find how, who you want to be, then that overall thing, that brand, starts taking effect. And, and then that's when you can really start setting yourself apart and, and really start getting to that next level. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's possible. It, there was two greats at one time. You know what I'm saying? So there's no reason why we shouldn't have another great rapper and another great rapper and another great rapper. Um, it, it's all about once you find yourself and what you want to really rap about. And, and once you master all these different skills and have a, a huge arsenal of skills... You know what I'm saying? Then, then that's when it's really going to take off. So, I don't know. That's it for this one. Um, had a pretty busy day in the studio. Shout out to everyone that's been coming through. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't checked out the flyers, I do mixing and mastering. I do beats. Um, shout out to uh, Dez. Shout out to Conquest buying the beat. Um, shout out to uh, Fuquan coming through earlier. Shout out to Matt coming through. Shout out to Firestone coming through today. So, damn, definitely busy day. And I uh, hope you're on your grind, man. We're going to make this money. Uh, I, I know you're going to step your, your game up from where you are now because that's what being a better rapper is about. Like, that's why I don't put how to be a great rapper. I put how to be a better rapper because it's, it's once you get great, it's how to be better. So be a better rapper. Um, let's do this, man. Let's make some money. And, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.